just wish to say that um, prior to um, Mr. Marin closing it, uh, we wrote to him and, you know, regarding d- trying to get our money because we were waiting for so long for this amount of money to get our share of, of the land sale and, and for my brother to get his amount of rent money plus work done and services rendered. And um, we asked him to go, in, in the letter we wrote to him, we asked him to go to the court and to find out exactly how the estate should be, you know, divided up. Hmm. And he wrote back and threatened us with a letter stating that he was closing us, or he he, he, uh, threatened us that we should go and get, uh, more or less take proceedings against him, or otherwise get a solicitor and take proceeding against him, or otherwise he was closing it at a certain date. Wow. That's the that that is the story about it. So this is absolute uh, absolute corruption, Eileen. I mean, this is a it go- is, yes, it is corruption. And I, and, and, I mean, and, and, and another thing I want to tell you uh-huh. is we are having a peaceful pro- uh, protest on this Friday, and we're having um, um, what's his man's name? Is this called? Michael Fitzmaurice? He's a TD, and his followers. Okay. We'll be there. Oh, Mike, it, Michael it, it, Fitzmaurice, it, TD. Is it what? What? What yes, party he, is he belonging to? Do you know, Eileen? Pardon? What party? What party does, I understand he's an independent person. Okay. Okay. Th- yeah. That makes well, sense. Well, he, he, you know, he he would be, he would know about uh, all of this taking place because he's he's from the county of Roscommon and he's also, I understand, a farming background. Okay. Okay. So he'll understand so, um, when you tell he, him. He's, uh, I understand he's going to be present there at the, at this. Um, protest at, at the peaceful protest on, on 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 Friday and also he will have along with him more followers so um, we're going to do this outside Mr. Marin's office in Castle Street in Mullingar right and, and it's going to continue it's going to continue until we get our demands met which we are due Yes, yes. No, no, yeah. it, it makes perfect sense. And listen, th- well done for standing up against these corrupt shysters, because I've had yeah. dealings. I, can I tell you a story that I have? Yes, you, can, you may, of course. OK, yeah. well, I, I was in a car crash yeah. and uh, I did get a payout. And yeah. when I went uh, and, and I knew that everything was done and dusted and there were no costs to me after it, it was after costs and all the yeah. rest of it. And I went to the solicitor's office to pick up the check. Yeah. And because he, t- he phoned me up and said, your check is here. And that took bloody ages, by the way, Eileen. OK, of so, course. yes. So I'm there uh, with my wife and he passes a check over the counter to me over at his desk, a really posh mm-hmm. desk in his office. And he passes the check over to me and it was 30,000 short. Yeah. And I said to him, that's not my check. Yeah. And he said, well, what about my costs? I said, your costs were covered. And you know, we had witnesses. You were there. In fact, you were a witness to you, your own costs being paid. Yeah. So I won costs. So what is going on here? And he said, no, 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 that's your check. You, that's that's it. I'm, I'm taking my cut out of it. And I just yeah. walked over to the window. It's in the middle. It's, it's, it's in Rosemary, uh, Rosemary Avenue in just off Air Square. So people know who the solicitor is, Geraghty's. And I, yeah. and I opened the window. And I shouted out the window, Stop! Thief! I'm being robbed! <laughs> I kept on shouting and shouting and shouting until he came and took, the, took down the window. And do you know what he had in his drawer? He had yeah. the cheque for the full amount made out to me. Made out to you. Yeah. Made out to you. Yeah. But he was giving you the other one. Yep. Yeah. Oh, isn't that terrible? Criminal. That's, they that's, are fecking criminals. Yes, I it mean. is. Sorry it to is swear. Criminal. Terrible, terrible, absolutely, and it's been done all over. So to hear your story and to have you as brave as you are to stand up and say these things, because if anyone asked me yes. about Geraghty's, I would absolutely tell them never to go near the place. They are corrupt. Yes. Not only that, they were incompetent. The reason yes. we, we a- a- ended up with the money that we did is because myself and my wife did everything ourselves. They were as yes. incompetent and stupid, either that or complicit, in trying to save the state money. Yeah. Okay. Now, a- Anthony is in the chat room. I have a chat room here where people leave messages and all the rest uh, here. Okay. And uh, yeah. there's a guy called Anthony in the chat room. Hi, Anthony. And he says, Solicitor Tony McGlynn 
Promathlone, who Mike knows, destroyed my wife's personal injuries case, gave bad advice, made false undertakings, as well as bringing a case to trial that was not ready. See, these people are incompetent. They, 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 they shouldn't be in their positions. They're terrible. Yep. There, it should be, an, I mean, it is criminal, the whole lot. It I absolutely mean, it, is. It's gone on all over, and it's time that, you know, there was some uh, halt put to it. Uh, stop once and for all, because from the story I'm hearing from you and from that other gentleman that you're after telling me the story about, it's terrible. It is, and, and we're not the only ones, my friend. Yes, uh, Eileen, no, we, no. Are, we are all being shafted. In fact, Delamitri yes. in the chat room has just said, well done, Sean, for exposing how a solicitor might not be the best executor to appoint via a will. Yeah, that's right. That's Absolutely. Correct. They are... Sc- yes. And do you know what? There's even a land grab going on and people are... Because you know, maybe he thought he could get away with it because cause Michael was elderly or you were elderly or, or over a certain age and he thought... Well, he what could, did you say before that, uh, Sean? Maybe, maybe, he, what? maybe he thought that he could get away with it. Yes. Because... I agree with you there. Yes. I agree with you there. But that's the way... That's the way the elderly are treated. It is the elder abuse as well. It is. It and really it's is. corruption and it is criminal. That's what we, you know, we all think about that. But that's what is going on and really there should be a stop put to it. It's mm. got to come and that stop should come from the, from the top. Yeah, absolutely. And Anthony's saying, yeah. well done to all those people for making a stand against corrupt solicitors. Yeah. Now, yeah. Not only should we make a stand against them, we should be blaring it from the rooftops we need to get the mainstream media on board as well i mean i i i we we hear on people's internet radio we call rte that not radio television air in ireland we call them uh, (laughs) royal television england royal television england because they just don't tell the irish people the truth yeah yeah do you know there is so much going on and Mm -hmm. you are you are now um i suppose subject to this corruption and that's why we're going to be having this uh, and I'm listen I'm really apologize for not being able to get there on Friday in fact my my brother is traveling home from England and I'm visiting him and I can't be in Mullingar uh, of course you have to be there for your brother I do yes. I haven't seen him in yes. years <laughs> yeah, yeah. but listen that'll be nice and I hope you enjoy your meeting with him well thank you, you know? very much look so let's yes. l- l- let me just tell everybody exactly what's going on okay so Friday yes. January the 29th Two yes. two thirty yes. to 5.30, they're asking people to turn up, of course, but you may be staying there longer, I don't know. Yes. And um, it's a peaceful, now this is really, really important, everyone. It's a yes. peaceful proste- protest. And yes. I love the way it's written on, on your Facebook page, outside yes. robber. Marin's solicitors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and well, well done, yeah. well done for your, yourselves for putting that page yeah. up. And yeah. um, it really yeah. is important that people know what is going on. I mean, you guys yeah. were short what twelve and a half grand plus interest. Yeah, plus plus three and a half thousand for cattle that I was supposed to own, which I never did. Right. I never owned any cattle. So this was the just... whole parish, the whole country knows that. So they're just liars. So that's over sixteen thousand that I'm was taken.